Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Aguian and these are some of the top stories we have for you tonight. A big pot bust on St. Thomas. St. Kitts celebrates their independence. And Alex Simon's state-of-the-art cruise and dance company. These stories and more up next on News Channel 8. <laughs> top story tonight, there was a substantial amount of marijuana confiscated on St. Thomas over the weekend. Here's Police Chief Rodney Carrard. Police on St. Thomas confiscated 84 small Ziploc baggies of marijuana and two larger plastic baggies of marijuana from two suspects near gas works in Estate Bavoni. Elijah Harrell, 26, and Ted Nathan, 22, both who reside in Estate Bavoni, were arrested shortly after 6 p.m. Thursday, September 15th and charged with possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute marijuana. Special Operation Bureau and Intelligent Unit officers were patrolling high crime areas. As they approached gas works, they observed two individuals, later identified as Elijah Harrell and Ted Nathan, standing near a white hander. The car door was open and the officers observed what appeared to be marijuana inside of the vehicle. This substance later field tested positive for marijuana. Both Harrell and Nathan were arrested after Harrell said the vehicle with the marijuana was his, and Nathan was found to be in possession of a large quantity of what was later field tested also to be marijuana. Bail for Harrell and Nathan was set at $35,000 each, and they were remanded to the Bureau of Corrections pending the advice of rights hearing in the Superior Court of the Virgin Islands. And thanks to Police Chief Rodney Crowd for that statement. And in other news tonight, St. Kitts and Nevis is celebrating their 28th year of independence. News Channel 8's Wes Small files this report. Thank you very much, Jerome. It's all about St. Kitts and Nevis Independence Day. And I believe they celebrated that uh, their 28th year of independence, uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, beloved citizens of this territory, I have to tell you that. All right, I'm here now with David Rossington, um, educator, we all know him, and uh, also he is the president of the St. Kitts Nevis Association chapter here in St. Croix, right, sir? That's correct, Wes. Today, yes. today marks the 28th day, 28th, 28th day of independence of the Federation of St. Christopher, that is the official name for St. Kitts, mm -hmm. and Nevis. Back in 1983, September 19 to be exact, under the then Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Kennedy Alphonse Simmons, St. Kitts and Nevis became an independent country from Great Britain. So St. Kitts and Nevis gained its political independence 28 years ago. And with me here today, uh, four, including myself, four of us from the St. Kitts and Nevis Association here on St. Croix, our association seeks to foster good relations. First of us, here where we live here, here is home together with um, those of our countrymen here in the territory and those back in the Federation of St. Kitts What sets petitions far above and beyond all of our other mix in this culture pot that we live in? I believe it's called Sugar City, is that right? Yes, Sugar City. Why are you so sweet? Because we're just sweet. We came out from, sugar, from St. Kitts because we have a lot of sugar cane and we eat so much that we get so much sugar. So the call is Sugar City. Okay, <laughs> and you look so lovely. Um, what can you? Is this handmade? What are you? Is this a traditional outfit for St. Kitts Nevis? Yes, this is handmade. This is our, our national uh, dress. This is where we get to see the lovely model, yes. Miss Marilyn Caesar, who is the secretary of the St. Kitts Nevis Association. Okay. Explain as she does her little period. All right, the dress was made in St. Kitts. It made from cotton. As you could see, the cotton stand for Nevis, where we pick the cottons. Wow. Uh, also, the shirt that Ms. the men's wear is a cotton that made, that we picked in St. Kitts. That's Be oh, beautiful, and it's very cool. Too. Yes, the crocus bag is the sugar cane in St. Kitts. Oh. So that's produced the sugar. Plus the skirt matches the, the bag. bag. Crocus bag. Yes, the the. The madras, that's our international color for the madras. Yes. For our head tie and also our band around our waist. We wear yes. it many ways. The bag is the one that we hide our money in. Mm. And back in the days, you see, we call it, we put the money in it to buy our sugar and our penny bread. And the sugar, the brown sugar, make the swank. As everyone from St. Kitts know, swank. 
from the brown sugar. Wow. <laughs> Educate this reporter tonight. And I love the earrings and the matching necklace. It is so All of beautiful. that was handmade in St. Kitts. All of it goes. I was going to ask you where you got that. Yeah, all of that handmade in St. Kitts that goes with our dress. We have everything. We have the wing. We have the wing. We have the earrings. We have the necklace. We have the bracelet. We have the shades, the belt, everything from head to toe. Any more last festivities that we need to look for before we close this out? Yes, we are. We're having a a banquet on the 19th of November. Oh. I'm looking for all kitchens and individuals to come out to it. Uh, we oh, have invited. Stop it. Y'all will be back with me by then. Uh, November 19th? Uh, you know Miss Black was calling me before then. Okay, no problem. So I want to make sure you are we'll coming to it. You, November 19th, and that's going to be where? Uh, at Teddy's. At Teddy's. That's right. From the courtyards of Barron Spot to Sugar City, St. Kitts and Nevis. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And happy Independence Day for St. Kitts and Nevis. Well, the Virgin Islands Puerto Rican Friendship Day Committee are starting their festivities these days. Here's some of the recent highlights from the past weekend. <laughs> Esas fuerzas que me has dado, la porción que me ha tocado son para ti. Que cumples tu palabra, que guías mi destino. Dios de pactos, confío en tus promesas. Descanso en tu palabra, por tu gracia estoy aquí. Miss Carla Matos, Miss Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico Friendship Queen. And I invite you on September 25th to please come and support the Miss Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico Friendship Pageant 2011-2012. Contestants are Maria Encarnacion, Shanice Boyce, Laisha Perinan, and Aaliyah Jackson. There are four beautiful young ladies vying for the title. My name is Maria Encarnacion. I'm contestant number one, and I just want to invite you all to the show next Sunday. I am contestant number two, Shanice Michelle Boyce, and I just want to invite everyone to come out to the pageant. My name is Alia Jackson, your contestant number three. I would like to invite every one of you to come out to Ms. VIPR on September 25th. My name is Laisha Perinan, contestant number four. I'm encouraging everyone to come out to the Queen Show next week Sunday at the John A. Jewison Junior High School. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Gracias a las muchachas. Un fuerte aplauso para ella, por favor. A round of applause for the girls. Thank you. Visitors from Trinidad, when we come back from this break, stay with us. Let's take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. In your Caribbean report tonight, we start in St. Kitts, where a son of the soil and an officer of the law for 25 years, Selvin C.G. Wall Wynn, just one week ago was appointed as Commandant of the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, and no sooner than he had been appointed was he demonstrating that he meant business. Casual yet impactful, Wall Wynn's presentation reinforced his earlier utterance of a zero tolerance for crime and a hands-on approach to battling the crime scourge which has visited St. Kitts and Nevis over the past year. Concerning the grants and favors, the police chief indicated that only during his first couple of days on the job, he's already been approached. I've had to disappoint three people in the past two days, and people, I've been a cop for 25 years. My wife is here, and she can tell you, I made a promise to her and my children, I'm not wearing handcuffs for anybody. And turning to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, it was clear in Fort Lauderdale's Hollywood International Airport, the first charter flight to Cuba in decades wasn't your average trip. Passengers were greeted at Saturday's check-in with balloons, live music, and food. Spray of water were also arced over the plane as it taxied down the runway for a 1 p.m. takeoff. Using a leased jet blue plane, airline broker company will be providing a non-stop service from Fort Lauderdale to Havana every Saturday as well as a return flight. But not everyone in the Cuban-American community thinks that more travel to Cuba is a cause for celebration. South Florida Congressman Mario diaz Balart and David Riviera, both Republicans, have introduced bills to limit the growing number of Cuban-Americans heading to the island. The charter company 
estimated that Cuban Americans may make as many as 400,000 trips this year. Congressman said that such travel throws a lifeline to the Castro regime, pumping up the government coffers with landing fees and other payments and diluting the dismal state of the Cuban economy. And while flights to Cuba are increasing, British Airways has announced plans to reduce flights to the Caribbean following a sharp rise in air passenger duty. Blaming falling passenger numbers on punitive tax, the British Airways chief executive Keith Williams confirmed the news while delivering a keynote speech to over 200 tourism directors and ministers and practitioners in St. Martin at the Caribbean Tourism Organization. For the summer of the 2012 timetable, Williams explained that British Airways will be forced to reduce capacity to the Caribbean by approximately 6% in a bid to focus on more profitable routes. And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. And also, the president of the Caribbean Nazarene College of Trinidad is in our territory, spreading a positive message of education and religion. News Channel 8's Wes Small has the details. Thank you very much, Jerome. We have uh, an elite group here this evening uh, from the Nazarene uh, College. We're just going to get right to it. First, to my right is the local uh, pastor at the Central Nazarene Church, Pastor Anthony DeVlut. Yes. I hope I got that one right. And this is, we are into the second now of six straight nights of um, positive speaking of evangelistic services. And it's the Central Church of the Nazarene on the hill above Country Day School. And we want to also thank uh, you for bringing um, the heavyweights, if I will, for the College of the Nazarene in Trinidad. And they are visiting, he's visiting us today, um, Dr. Schofield Eversley. First, um, Pastor DeVlute, we'll start with you. I'm sure you've been preparing this for some time, and it's very positive, and you know you're the local um, coordinator. Yes, you're the local for coordinator the here, Church, yes. and you know that these are some troubled times yes. for us spiritually, sir. Yes. So what do, you, what do you bring to the table this week? First of all, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord has been speaking to us that we need a revival. Most of the churches has been working towards that end. And the Lord did prepare the time and the place for these services. So he organized through uh, our district superintendent that our president, for the Caribbean Nazarene College would come and deliver these services. Wonderful. Dr. Schofield Eversley, it's a pleasure to have you here. And um, sir, I have to tell you, you know, this reporter in particular wasn't very spiritual like maybe two or three years ago. Um, but I have to tell you, when I leave my complex, my apartment complex, I do about seven prayers, you know, and I have to tell you, when I come back home, he answers them. Okay. I don't try to analyze it or dissect it, but I am telling you that you are looking at a product of God. Okay. And I have turned, okay. no, I haven't turned my life around so much, but I have to tell you that I am definitely convinced that there is a creator yes. and that everything we do yes. is for a reason. Yes. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> you are correct, my brother. God surely is our creator and all who are willing to acknowledge him shall derive rich dividends out of that kind of acknowledgement and what you just said um, would tell me that there is that acknowledgement on your part and uh, god will grant to you as much as you are willing to receive from him the onus is always on you god has done it all already let me ask you something. I'm, I'm glad we're getting into a theological concept for a second. The power of prayer. Yes. I, I'm sure that your your local uh, contact here told you we are under dire straits here yes. um, with the LIAC, the 8% government. Now, yes. I don't know if you know about our violence. Just uh, today, uh, we believe a child got stabbed at the local high school. Yes. Do you believe in the power of prayer? And, 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 and can we get a, I mean, I, I know it's it's silly of me to question it or ask, but... I really believe that prayer works. Sir, prayer moves the hands that move all things. When we call unto God, he says, I will hear and I will answer and I will do. 
Well, thank you for That's at least powerful. helping me out. I hope it helped yes. you out. I don't yes. mean to take a yes. sidetrack. Yes. Now, I'm, I'd like to ask Dr. Ken Sharp, and you are the regional coordinator. Yes, you have about 30 to 40 annexes of the Nazarene um, schools in, in, the, in the Leewards and the VI and so forth. Sir, what does the rest of these nights of evangelistic lectures that this brilliant man and your constituents bring, what does it mean to our territory now? I think it's going to bring hope. It's going to bring transformation. And uh, also it's going to give people a sense okay, of knowing that there is a God. And uh, people are hopeless, and especially in these hard economic times, certainly we need to reach out to them. And that is why I think that as a church, we have the answer. I think Christ is the answer, and that is what we want to give our people hope for the future. Right here locally, how can people get in tune and involved with the Nazarene College? Okay, they can get in touch with the Nazarene College through Mr. Steve Bullock. And it can be contacted at 513-4099 or 771-0673. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. I'm Wes Small with members of the Caribbean Nazarene College. Y'all will do great, trust me, for News Channel 8. When we come back from this break, a new state-of-the-art dance center opens on St. Croix. Stay with us. Well, News Channel 8's Wes Small now takes us on a tour of the brand new Crucian Dance Center with CEO and world-class choreographer, Alex Simon. We are here! It's about time. It's the Crucian Dance Company, and it's the Crucian Dance Center. I'm here with Alex Simon. He's world famous. And Kevin, he's the hip-hop um, assistant right there. We're going to get into all of this. It took us a while, but we are almost there. This is fantastic. You're going to talk about your enrollment and everything, Alex, as uh, we look at you uh, behind the scenes with your, I love that office that you've got there. Thank you. Man. Dude, <laughs> this is nice. State of the art. We're going to, um, as we talk, the cameraman's going to pan around and see how you could keep an eye on all your classes. This is fantastic. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Been doing a lot. You know, like we're finally here. Um, we're open. We're doing registration, like ongoing, like right now. So we are, of course, you know, accepting ages three and up for all of the different classes that we have from ballet, jazz, hip hop, modern. We even have Zumba. Mm. Yeah, which is really amazing. That's and the new hot thing. Yeah, that's the new hot thing. We have a hot um, Zumba instructor. So, you know, those yeah. adults that are definitely interested, you know, they should come out and get some information for the classes that we offer. How can people um, sign up to the Cruise and Dance Company? They can definitely, you know, like stop on by. We're usually open here from like 10 a.m. in the morning to 8 o'clock at night. Um, you know, we're right above the old Goodyear and Tire Building. And you can building. register right here. Right here, right here. You know, we'll take out all your information. Um, you know, you can definitely call us. Our number, of course, that we're branding is 340-701-DANCE, which is really, really simple. And then online, look at that. Yeah, well, we're actually right now building the, um, the Website. website yeah so it's gonna be cruisingdancecenter.com and that should definitely be you know up and running within the next couple of months but you know like we're here we're doing like a lot of different things we're preparing for the miss urban teen scholarship competition it's always big yeah so we're looking for girls like right now you know to register those that are, are of course you know interested as well as all the other classes that we're gonna be teaching all right well you need to call right now three four zero seven one dance and let's talk to Kevin then before we run out of time the hip-hop man what are you going to be bringing to the table? Um, well, I teach old school break dancing, pop locking, the real, you know, funky stuff. You know, I always been into like the real, you know, like the new ages and the. Can you, can you do new ages? The, um, no, I don't do it, new ages. I mean, no, my, no. Can you do? Can you think? Can you do party rock? Party rock. Yeah. Which yeah. one? Party rock is in the house tonight. Can you do that? Wait, um, oh, come on. Can you do this? You want his version of mine? Hey, I mean, hey, 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 Alex, hey, hey, hey. you think I can't get into this? Hey, no, you were doing like the reverse. He's doing the reverse. You're doing the reverse. <laughs> hey, 34071 dance, get in here. I'm having a lot of fun. Party rock, classical music, ballet, hip hop. Take it all the way to world famous dance entrepreneur. Brother, I am so proud of you. I know you still got more to do and everything, but um, just fantastic. You know, party on and please give them a call right here. Again, it's 34071 Dance. The website is being built right now, and you too could dance just like this reporter. Party Rock <laughs> is in the house tonight. Here in Castle Coakley at Cruising Dance Company, I'm Wes Small for News Channel.